Hello, fan fans. I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and we're going to take a look at the Zalman ZF120. Another ARGB fan. Surprise, surprise. I'm getting down to the last ones here. In fact, this is the last batch. I'm going to go back through and uh, pull up some of the other ones that I didn't do a comparison for, so you can see all those too. But this is the last of the unvideoed, I guess you could say, um, fans. And this is what it looks like. It is very interesting looking, as you can tell. And it has both PWM and uh, standard ARGB connectors, but no daisy chaining, unfortunately, which is a shame because that's really helpful. Oh, and before I forget, it does come with an adapter from standard ARGB to gigabyte as well as a low noise adapter, which is something you don't see with very many fans, at least not the fans that I've seen anyways. You know, maybe I'm, maybe it's because I've got a lot of older fans or, or, or because I buy fans that tend to be cheap because I'm trying to find those, those hidden gems, I guess you could say. I don't know. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the like. I was really, when I saw the picture of this, I was really kind of enchanted by it. I mean, I, as far as like looking at the fan for doing its job, I was not impressed. I looked at it, I was like, eh, I don't know about that. But visually, it's so interesting looking. And so, as you can see, it's got most of the, all, all of the lighting in the very middle there. And it just kind of gets uh, moved out along these translucent pieces of plastic. So this is a fan you're going to want to um, mount in a particular direction. And it is a reverse blade. So you, normally the fan blows that way. But this fan turns in the opposite direction and flows in the opposite direction as well. So it's completely the opposite of usual. And... and it's kind of fragile too so be careful when you're handling it so you don't end up damaging it because they did not make the the frame particularly sturdy so let's take a look at it with the fan blades in motion which really isn't going to make any difference I don't think but we'll see okay Yeah, it's with with black blades like that. It it is all focused on that unique frame, and I think you know for a visual appeal, that's nice. Let's go ahead and listen now. I'm trying to figure out a, the safest way to hold this thing. Okay, really quiet right now. Not too loud, um, but not not quiet either. So, darn it, it's so hard to hold this thing. And then, as far as the static pressure is concerned, this you know, I'm thinking again about this, and I'm thinking that with the blades in the middle, that those short blades, it should actually have good static pressure. So, so I, it looks like it's actually a little bit more than two 
So that's actually respectable, good for a case or a an air cooler. And yeah, so I'm pleasantly surprised. How do you guys feel about the appearance of this fan, given that it's you know got that much static pressure? Is this ki uh, the kind of fan that you would be interested in trying? Um, put that in the comments. Uh, let's take a look at the specs, though. The Zalman ZM-SF120 ARGB reversed, even though it doesn't say that on the box. I wanted to make sure that was in there. It's a $7 fan. Now, my big concern with this fan is the lack of a frame going all the way around. I'm just not sure how that's going to impact the actual performance. But aside from that, yeah, we saw. CNRHS certifications made in China, 120 by 26 millimeters. So that's a little bit uh, better than normal as far as the size, but I don't know if that's the f just the frame or if it actually affects the fan blade size. Uh, 100,000 hours, one year warranty, ARGB. It's compatible with uh, Razer, Asus, Gigabyte, and Zalman, of course. 125 millimeters, uh, sorry, 125 grams, nine plus nine blades. So there are nine big blades, nine small blades, and they're very interesting looking. 105 millimeters between the mounting holes, 800 to 1500 RPMs. Imagine what it would be if it could go faster than that. 10 uh, plus or minus 10%. 54 CFMs of airflow, 1.1? I think that's wrong. Um, so it's claiming 1.1 1 .1, uh, millimeters of static pressure, which, yeah, it doesn't make sense. 28 decibels, 73 centimeter long fan cable that's not daisy chained or sleeved, and also same for the LED cable. PWM and standard ARGB connectors, fluid dynamic bearings, 12 volts, 5 to 12 volt range, 2.4 watts, 0.2 amps. The LEDs have a 5 volt, um, 1.5 watt, and 0.3 amps. No indicators of direction of rotation and flow, but it turns in a counterclockwise direction and comes with four bolt fan bolts plus four plastic push pins, which is a two piece uh, thing where there's a little pin that you stick into another one that's a hole. And yeah, corner cushions um, are there, but I'm not sure how effective they'll be, but they're there. Uh, and also there is um, the low noise adapter, which is 12 centimeters, and the 21 centimeter gigabyte adapter. And that's all there is. Thank you for watching this video. Also, thank you to uh, Lawrence Abrams at bleepingcomputer.com for allowing me to use his forum to promote my videos and thus I promote his website uh, which is a great website with lots of resources for tech people and for people who have computers be it if you need help with hardware or software or even with malware they have lots of resources they have also got lots of news on their website about the tech world if you would be interested in me presenting some of that news here on this channel would you please let me know um, I already have permission from Lawrence Abrams to do that I'm just not sure if that would be something of interest to people so I haven't done it yet um, but yeah so please like subscribe share let people know about my channel if you think it's worth it if you don't think it's worth it and you want to give me feedback, please do so constructively in a video or in the community tab. Um, if you can't be constructive and civil and logical about it, then you probably should just be quiet because I have a low tolerance for people who like to troll, which is to say, if you're going to be a jerk, I will not put up with it. So thank you very much again. I hope you have a wonderful day.